This lesson is multiplying algebraic fractions with factoring. So I'm still on multiplication. The only difference is I've got a couple terms up here and a couple terms here. So again, I got to remember, I can't start canceling. I can't cancel the three X's because I canceling is a form of division. I can't cancel when I have terms in division. So, I can't cancel, I've got to change everything to factors. So, in multiplication division, I have to factor and cancel. So, I look on my numerator and its greatest common factor. This is the hardest one at this point of the course. So, we'll do the others and get back to it. I look at x squared minus 25. Hopefully, you know it's not a trinomial. There's nothing common. It's difference of two squares. x plus 5, x minus 5. I look at my denominator. It's not a trinomial, it's two terms. So it's greatest common factor or difference of two squares. It's greatest common factor. This is the one, for some reason, students have trouble with. They try to factor it like a trinomial. Hopefully you see I have two terms. It cannot be a trinomial. So it's either difference of two squares or greatest common factor. Can't be difference of two squares. I got a plus. So then I go, hmm, could it be greatest common factor? I have a common x. So I get x times x plus 4. Once I got it factored, I cancel away any numerator with any denominator. One for one. I can cancel the x plus 4, the x plus 4. The x minus 5, the x minus 5. Looks like that x plus 5 has to stay. Now I look at my threes and think if they're factors, I can cancel them. If they're terms, I cannot. There's no sign here, so in my head that's a times. There's no sign here that's a times. There are factors I can cancel. 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 3, 1. So 1 times x plus 5, I'm left with x plus 5 over x. Then I look at my answer and I got to think again. Can I cancel the x's? If they're factors, I can. If they're terms, I can't. This is all by itself, so it could be either. This one's a term. I cannot cancel. All right, let's do another one. Here we go. x squared plus 10x plus 24 divided by x squared plus x minus 30 times x squared minus 25, x squared minus 16. So, I got a factor and cancel. I look at this, it's trinomial. X, X, plus means of the same. Plus, plus, or minus, minus. It's got to be plus, plus. It's either 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, or 4 times 6. So which pair do I add or subtract to get a 10? Well, i got to be careful because 2 and 12, if I subtract, I get a 10. 4 and 6, I add, I get a 10. So the signs are like I'm going to have to add them. It's going to have to be 6 and 4. Now, if you put in 12 and 2 and you check by FOIL, you'd go, hmm, 14, that's wrong. So then you would have known you picked a different pair. Okay, here we go. X, X plus minus. 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, or 5 times 6. I'm looking for a 1. It's 5 times 6. I check by FOIL. x times x is x squared. Minus 5x plus 6x gives me plus 1x. I get minus 30. I factor. Difference of 2 squares. I factor difference of two squares. 
Now I can cancel. Let's see. It's one for one. One numerator for one denominator. X plus four, X plus four. X minus five, X minus five. X plus six, X plus six. So it looks like I am left with an X plus five divided by X minus four. Can I cancel the X's? If they're terms, I cannot. If they're factors, I can. This is a term. This is a term. This to all together, X plus five is glued like a factor. So I cannot. That's my answer. We're going to do one more, only this time it's division. So I have an algebraic fraction, and I see I can't start canceling because I have terms. So before I start factoring, because then you get all involved in the factoring, I see it's division. I'm going to flip them first. So I'm going to get 3x squared plus 7x plus 4 divided by 10x squared plus x minus 21 times. 10x plus 15 over x plus 1. That's my first step. Now, a factor. Here's my trinomial, coefficient in front. It's trial and error. So I'm going to have x, x, plus, plus. My only choice is 3 and 1. It's either 2 and 2 or 4 and 1. I have no idea. I'm going to try 2 and 2 first. If it doesn't work, that switch spots wouldn't change anything. So 6 and 2 is 8. It's not going to work. So it's got to be 4 and 1, and I'm looking for a 7. So i got to put my 4 here, my 1 here. When I check, I get 3x plus 4x is 7x plus 4. i got it factored right. My denominator. I have x, x, plus, minus. The only time this is a bad experience is if you put the wrong signs in. If by accident I put two minuses, no matter what I do, I'll never get it, and it would be aggravating. All right, so this is a little harder. I've got 1 times 21, or 3 times 7. 1 times 10, or 2 times 5. So I look at the whole problem. Because I want stuff to cancel. So I want to try 1 and 21. So I guess I would try 3 and 7. So we'll put 3 and 7 in. I could have wrong signs. We'll just see how we go. Then I would try 2 and 5. And I'm looking to get a 1. So if I put my 5 here, I'll get 35. There's no way. So if I put 2 and 5, I'm going to put my 2 here and my 5 here. So now I'll get minus 14 plus 15. I get minus 1. So do you see that I'm off by a sign? When I FOIL, I get minus 14x plus 15x, which gives me a plus 1x. I want, oh, <coughs> so actually I'm fine. This times this is minus 21. All right, we're over here. X plus 1 stays. Can't factor out a common factor of 10. It's not difference of two squares, right? It's not a trinomial. But I could factor out a common factor of 5. And I get 2X plus 3. So now let's see what could be done. I got my 2X plus 3. My 2X plus 3 cancels to 1. My x plus 1, my x plus 1. Looks like everything else has to stay. So we usually write the coefficient first. So I'm left with 5 times 3x plus 4 divided by 5x minus 7. And I usually leave my answer in factored form.